The sinking of the Titanic is one of the most iconic and tragic moments in history. The story of the Titanic has captivated people for over a century, and the discovery of the wreckage in 1985 only added to the fascination. Since then, numerous expeditions have been undertaken to explore the wreckage, and some of the items that have been recovered have shocked the world. From personal items to everyday objects, these artifacts provide a glimpse into the lives of those who were on board the ship. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 15 of the most incredible items that were just recovered from the Titanic wreckage. Get ready to be amazed and intrigued by the relics that have been recovered from the depths of the ocean. Number 15. Discovery of the Titanic Wreckage The discovery of the wreck of the Titanic shocked the world and captivated people's attention. The Titanic was a magnificent ship, considered to be unsinkable, but it met its tragic end on April 15, 1912. It wasn't until 1985 that the wreck of the Titanic was discovered by a team of explorers led by Robert Ballard. The discovery of the wreck was a watershed moment in the history of underwater exploration. The Titanic lay at a depth of more than 12,000 feet, making it one of the most challenging and dangerous expeditions ever undertaken. The team used cutting-edge technology, including remote-controlled submersibles, to explore the wreck and capture images of the ship from the seafloor. The images of the wreck were shocking, revealing the extent of the damage done to the once great ship. The Titanic had broken in two, and large sections of the ship had been crushed by the pressure of the water. Despite this, many of the artifacts on board had been preserved by the cold, dark waters. Over the years, a number of expeditions have been mounted to the Titanic wreck site, and many artifacts have been recovered. These include items such as jewelry, clothing, personal effects, and even pieces of the ship itself. Each new discovery provides a window into the world of the Titanic and its passengers, reminding us of the human tragedy that unfolded on that fateful night in 1912. Number 14. The Ship's Ghostly Remains The recovered artifacts from the Titanic have given us a glimpse into the past. The ghostly remains of the ship itself are perhaps even more chilling. The ship's bow, which remains mostly intact, is a haunting sight. The ship's ghostly wreck is a sight to behold, as it is covered in rust and marine life. As the Titanic's iron slowly dissolves, the rustic less serve as a visual reminder of the passage of time and the inevitable decay of the vessel. One of the most iconic features of the Titanic was the Grand Staircase. This breathtaking architectural masterpiece was the centerpiece of the ship, and it's hard to imagine the Titanic without it. Unfortunately, the Grand Staircase did not survive the sinking of the Titanic. However, many artifacts from the Grand Staircase have been recovered from the wreckage over the years. One of the most fascinating things recovered from the Titanic wreckage was the remains of a 1912 Renault automobile. This car was owned by William Carter, a first-class passenger on the ship. When the ship went down, the car was lost with it. It wasn't until 1985 that the wreckage was discovered, and the car was found among the debris. The Titanic had 29 boilers that powered the ship's engines. These boilers measured 15 feet in diameter and stood over three stories tall. The sight of these massive boilers lying on the ocean floor is a powerful image that reminds us of the enormity of this disaster and the incredible technological advancements of the early 20th century. The boilers are heavily corroded and covered in rust, but they provide a haunting reminder of the ship's tragic end. Number 13. The Chilling Iceberg Impact Relics The Titanic's encounter with an iceberg on the night of April 14, 1912, resulted in a catastrophic event that claimed over 1,500 lives. The remnants retrieved from the wreckage, bearing the marks of the iceberg's impact, offer a tangible link to the moment of disaster and the overwhelming force of nature that determined the ship's fate. One of the most striking remnants is a section of the ship's hull, distorted and torn by the collision's force. Once a symbol of the Titanic's might and durability, these large steel plates now lie distorted on the ocean bed, a stark reminder of the iceberg's destructive power. This wreckage, known as the Big Piece, is over 20 feet long and 12 feet wide. Its recovery from the ocean's depths has shed light on the events leading to the ship's sinking. Another chilling relic of the iceberg's impact is a piece of the ship's railing found near the bow section of the wreckage. Once a robust fixture on the ship's deck, it is now bent and twisted, a grim reminder of the destruction and chaos that ensued after the collision. This damaged railing symbolizes the lives irrevocably changed by the disaster. 
The ship's enormous anchor chain, another artifact bearing the iceberg's impact marks, is found tangled and twisted on the ocean floor. This distorted chain offers a grim insight into the collision's force and the immense weight of the ship that was pulled to its underwater grave. One of the most mysterious artifacts related to the iceberg impact is a small piece of the iceberg itself, preserved in a glass vial. This vial, containing a fragment of ice from the collision site, serves as a chilling reminder of the seemingly harmless natural element that led to one of history's most tragic maritime disasters. This preserved ice symbolizes the ship's fatal encounter with nature and offers a tangible link to the disaster moment. Besides these physical remnants, the harrowing testimonies of the Titanic survivors offer a haunting insight into the terrifying moments following the iceberg's impact. Passengers and crew members have described the shuddering vibrations that ran through the ship upon collision, the eerie sound of twisting metal, and the sight of the iceberg's looming shadow as it scraped against the ship's hull. These testimonies, along with the chilling artifacts from the wreckage, serve as a potent reminder of the human lives forever changed by that fateful night's events. Number 12. Personal Belongings and Their Haunting Stories The artifacts retrieved from the Titanic's wreckage serve as poignant reminders of the lives lost in the tragic event. Each item, from personal belongings to clothing, carries a story that humanizes the disaster and offers a tangible link to history. One such artifact is a leather suitcase that belonged to Howard Irwin, an American who, for unknown reasons, didn't board the ship. His suitcase, filled with personal items like clothing, a pipe, and a diary, did make the journey, offering a snapshot of his life. A silver locket found on the ocean floor is another heartrending find. It held a lock of hair and a photo of a toddler named Sidney Leslie Goodwin, who perished along with his entire family. The Goodwins, a family of eight, were third-class passengers seeking a fresh start in America. Their locket is a sorrowful reminder of the lives they lost. John Starmarch's gold pocket watch, found in his coat pocket, is a chilling artifact. The 63-year-old first-class passenger was traveling with his wife, Susan. His body was recovered and later buried at sea. The watch, frozen at 127, marks the moment he succumbed to the icy Atlantic waters. Many pieces of jewelry, each with its unique and often tragic story, have been recovered. A pearl and diamond pendant, a gift from Eleanor Widener's husband, was found among the debris. Eleanor survived, but her husband and son did not. The pendant symbolizes the love and loss she endured that night. Clothing items, like a beaded black dress believed to belong to Helen Churchill Candy, an author and journalist, have also been found. Helen survived the sinking and was traveling to New York to care for her injured son. The dress's intricate details reflect the luxury experienced by the Titanic's first-class passengers. Children's toys, such as a small tin spinning top, are among the most poignant finds. Believed to belong to a third-class child passenger, the toy represents the innocence of the disaster's youngest victims. Personal documents, like letters and postcards, offer an intimate glimpse into the passenger's lives and feelings. A letter written by Adolf Saufeld, a first-class passenger, to his wife just hours before the iceberg collision, describes the daily life on board and the voyage's excitement. Adolf survived, but his letter remains a chilling testament to the lives forever changed by the tragedy. Number 11. The Tragic Fate of the Band The tale of the Titanic's band, led by Wallace Hartley, is one of the most touching and enduring stories from the tragic event. This group of eight musicians is remembered for their bravery and selflessness, as they continued to play their music even as the ship was sinking, offering a sense of peace and comfort to the panic-stricken passengers. Tragically, none of the band members survived the disaster. Among the artifacts recovered from the wreckage that belonged to the band members were personal items like a pocket watch and cufflinks, sheet music, and a violin case. The most notable of these artifacts is the violin of Wallace Hartley found in 2006, preserved in a leather bag. After thorough research, it was confirmed to be Hartley's violin, serving as a poignant reminder of the band's final performance and the soothing tunes that echoed on the ship as it met its end. The band's music, a mix of hymns and popular songs of the era, was intended to provide solace and uplift the spirits of the passengers during the evacuation of the ship. According to survivors, one of the last songs the band played was the hymn Nearer My God to Thee. This moving melody continues to stir deep emotions and stands as a testament to the courage and sacrifice of the band. 
Number 10, The Frightening Last Meal Remnants The last meal served on the Titanic has come to symbolize the grandeur and extravagance that characterized the ship's short-lived journey. The artifacts retrieved from the ship's dining areas and kitchens offer a haunting insight into the Titanic's culinary experience and the passengers who partook in its final dinner. A particularly poignant artifact is a collection of silverware, still bearing the ship's emblem, found strewn across the ocean floor. This tarnished cutlery, once used by passengers to savor their luxurious meals, now stands as a touching reminder of the lives lost and the final moments of normalcy before the catastrophe unfolded. Equally eerie is the discovery of a pile of porcelain dinner plates amidst the ship's debris. These plates, once used to present lavish dishes to the Titanic's first-class passengers, are now marred by time and the elements. The existence of these plates, along with other dinnerware, offers a chilling link to the Titanic's culinary realm and the passengers who unknowingly savored their last meal. Number 9. The Eerie Messages in a Bottle the Titanic's tragic sinking has left behind a series of haunting messages in bottles, providing a deeply personal insight into the final moments of the passengers and crew aboard the ill-fated ship. These messages, often hastily written on pieces of paper or postcards, encapsulate the raw emotions of desperation, hope, and fear that those on board experienced as they confronted their impending doom. One such message was written by a 19-year-old crew member, Jeremiah Burke. His brief but poignant message, from Titanic, Goodbye All, Burke of Glanmire, Cork, was found in a small bottle that had been thrown overboard and washed ashore in Ireland a year later. This simple farewell stands as a chilling testament to the human lives tragically lost in the disaster. Another passenger, Paul Danby, scribbled a message on a postcard as the ship was sinking, sinking fast. Women and children in lifeboats. Unable to make any headway with the lifeboats. Ship going down fast. This postcard, found by a fisherman off the coast of Newfoundland in 1913, offers a stark glimpse into the pandemonium and confusion that reigned during the ship's final moments. A third message, discovered near the wreckage site, was written by crew member Frank Tower. His message, found in a bottle, reads, Our ship is going down fast. We are now in the water and I am holding on to a piece of wood. Frank's desperate plea encapsulates the terror and despair felt by the crew as they battle for survival in the icy Atlantic waters. These messages, preserved in bottles, serve as enduring reminders of the Titanic's tragic end and the human lives that were irrevocably marked by it. Number 8. The Creepy Doll Collection The Titanic disaster left behind a chilling array of artifacts, among which are a collection of dolls that once belonged to the children aboard the ill-fated ship. These dolls, now weathered and damaged, stand as silent witnesses to the young lives lost and the innocence forever marred by the tragedy. Each doll carries a story, offering a poignant insight into the lives of the Titanic's youngest passengers. One such artifact is a porcelain doll, known as Little Miss Fortune. Discovered amidst the debris on the ocean floor, the doll, with its worn-out dress and cracked face, is thought to have belonged to Ellen Esther Maria Palsson, a five-year-old Swedish girl. Ellen, along with her parents and three siblings, tragically did not survive the disaster. The presence of Little Misfortune serves as a stark reminder of the young girl who once cherished her and the family that was swallowed by the sea. Another doll, a bisque baby figurine, was found near the remains of Sidney Leslie Goodwin, a 19-month-old English boy. This fragile figurine, a valuable toy in the early 20th century, symbolizes the young life abruptly ended by the catastrophe. The doll's discovery near Sydney's remains, along with a locket, offers a tangible link to the sorrow and loss endured by the Goodwin family. A third doll, crafted from celluloid with a hand-painted face, was found near the stern section of the wreckage. This doll is believed to have been owned by Lillian Gertrude Asplund, a five-year-old American girl. Lillian was the sole survivor in her family, losing her parents and three brothers in the disaster. The celluloid doll, now housed in a museum, serves as a haunting reminder of the trauma experienced by Lillian and the many other children who lost their families on that dreadful night. Number 7. The Unsinkable Molly Brown's Artifacts Margaret Molly Brown, a prominent first-class passenger on the Titanic, is celebrated for her bravery and leadership during the catastrophic event. A prosperous American socialite, Brown played a crucial role in the evacuation of other passengers and eventually found herself on lifeboat number six. Throughout the terrifying ordeal, 
she motivated the women in her lifeboat to row and implored the crew to look for survivors in the icy waters. Her heroic actions led to her being dubbed the unsinkable Molly Brown, making her an emblem of courage and resilience in the face of adversity. Several artifacts associated with Molly Brown have been retrieved from the Titanic wreckage, offering insights into her life and experiences aboard the ill-fated ship. One such artifact is a silver cup, engraved with her name, which she used for sipping champagne during the voyage. The cup, now discolored and corroded, serves as a symbol of the lavish lifestyle enjoyed by the ship's first-class passengers. It also stands as a tribute to the remarkable woman who defied fate to survive the tragedy. Another significant artifact linked to Brown is a letter she penned to her daughter post the disaster, narrating her experiences and feelings during the calamity. In the letter, Brown details her attempts to assist her fellow passengers and the ensuing chaos as the ship met its doom. Although the letter was not found in the wreckage, it has become an integral part of the Titanic's historical narrative, offering a deeply personal and chilling account of the disaster from the viewpoint of one of its most renowned survivors. Number 6. The Heart of the Ocean Necklace Myth The 1997 blockbuster Titanic not only revived interest in the tragic maritime disaster but also introduced a fictional narrative that has since become intertwined with the Titanic's history, the Heart of the Ocean Necklace. This piece of jewelry, featuring a large heart-shaped blue diamond, is portrayed in the film as being aboard the Titanic when it sank. Despite its fictional origins, the necklace's story has intrigued audiences and sparked curiosity about the existence of a similar artifact in the actual wreckage. However, there's no historical evidence to support the existence of a necklace akin to the heart of the ocean on the Titanic. The closest real-life counterpart is a diamond necklace known as the Love of the Sea, owned by Kate Florence Phillips, a young English woman who was traveling in first class with her paramour, Henry Morley. Morley gifted the necklace to Phillips during their journey, symbolizing their love and the commencement of their new life together. Phillips and the necklace survived the sinking, but Morley sadly did not. The myth of the heart of the ocean necklace, while an engaging part of the Titanic narrative, is ultimately a product of cinematic storytelling. Nevertheless, the authentic artifacts and tales of love, sacrifice, and survival linked to the Titanic continue to captivate and resonate with those who explore the history of the ship and its passengers. Number 5. The Tarnished Pocket Watch Among the numerous artifacts retrieved from the Titanic wreckage is a weathered pocket watch that was once the property of John Starmarch, a young 23-year-old English steward who served in the ship's first-class saloon. The pocket watch, with its shattered glass and rusted metal casing, stands as a stark reminder of the crew members who perished in the catastrophe and the passage of time since the ship's heartbreaking sinking. The watch was found in close proximity to the remains of March, who was still clad in his steward's uniform. The time on the watch is eternally set at 2.28 a.m., a few fleeting moments after the Titanic disappeared beneath the waves. This eerie detail offers a palpable link to the ship's final instance and the frantic efforts of the crew members to rescue the passengers and themselves. Number 4. The Ill-Fated Captain's Cabin The Titanic's captain, Edward J. Smith, was a seasoned mariner with a distinguished career. However, his legacy would be forever tainted by the disaster that befell his final command. The artifacts recovered from the captain's cabin provide a haunting glimpse into the life of the man who captained the ill-fated vessel and the tragedy that unfolded under his watch. Among the items discovered in the captain's cabin are personal effects, such as his shaving kit, a uniform button, and a pair of eyeglasses. These everyday items, now corroded and worn by time, serve as a stark reminder of the man who once commanded the greatest ship of his time, only to see it meet a tragic end. Another artifact found in the captain's cabin is a set of keys that once belonged to the ship's purser, Herbert Walter McElroy. The keys, which would have granted access to the ship's safe and various secure compartments, are a chilling reminder of the valuables and treasures that were lost with the Titanic. Perhaps the most haunting artifact from the captain's cabin is a telegram sent by the nearby SS Californian warning of ice in the area. The telegram, which was never acknowledged by the Titanic's wireless operators, serves as a stark reminder of the missed opportunities and miscommunications that contributed to the disaster. The chilling presence of the telegram in the captain's cabin is a testament to the tragic course of events that led to the sinking of the Titanic. Number 3. The Mysterious Third-Class Shoes 
The Titanic's wreckage has yielded numerous artifacts, among which a large collection of shoes from third-class passengers stands out as particularly enigmatic. These shoes, found scattered on the ocean floor, have sparked curiosity and speculation about their origins and the stories they might tell about the ship's tragic end. The shoes are thought to have originated from the third-class cabins at the ship's stern, which was one of the last areas to submerge. This has led to theories that the shoes were either swept out of the cabins or discarded by passengers during the ship's final moments. One hypothesis posits that the shoes were abandoned by third-class passengers as they rushed to the upper decks in search of lifeboats. In the ensuing chaos, passengers might have removed their shoes to move more quickly or because they were waterlogged. These abandoned shoes would have sunk with the ship and settled on the ocean floor. Alternatively, the shoes might have been part of a cargo shipment. The Titanic was known to transport various goods, including textiles and clothing. The shoes' close proximity to each other could suggest they were part of a shipment that was dislodged and scattered during the sinking. Regardless of their origins, these shoes serve as a poignant reminder of the lives lost in the disaster and the hardships endured by the third-class passengers. The shoes, from sturdy boots to delicate slippers, offer a tangible link to the people who wore them and the world they inhabited. Some of the shoes have particularly moving stories attached to them. A pair of small, worn leather boots is thought to have belonged to a young Irish boy named Eugene Daly, who was traveling to America with his sister in hopes of a better life. Eugene, only 20 years old, did not survive the disaster, while his sister Margaret escaped on a lifeboat. The discovery of Eugene's boots on the ocean floor is a chilling reminder of the young life tragically cut short. Another pair of shoes, belonging to a young woman named Milvina Dean, tells a story of survival. Milvina was just nine weeks old when she boarded the Titanic with her family, and she is the youngest survivor of the disaster. Her shoes, recovered from the wreckage and later returned to her, symbolize hope and resilience in the face of tragedy. The enigmatic shoes from the Titanic's third-class passengers, whether discarded in desperation or part of a cargo shipment, offer a chilling and poignant glimpse into the lives of the ship's most vulnerable passengers. As we remember the lives lost in the disaster, these haunting artifacts from the ship's third-class cabin serve as a powerful reminder of the human lives irrevocably changed by that fateful night. Number 2. The Lost Works of Art The Titanic, a symbol of grandeur and engineering prowess, was also a floating repository of precious art. Numerous passengers and crew members had brought along valuable paintings and sculptures for their transatlantic journey. The art pieces that were lost, and those few that were recovered from the wreckage, offer a poignant look into the cultural riches that sank with the ship. The painting, portraying a beautiful woman in a tranquil landscape, was owned by Swedish businessman Moritz Håkan Björnström Stefansson, who survived the catastrophe. Regrettably, the painting went down with the ship and has remained unrecovered. Also lost in the disaster was a set of original etchings by renowned American artist James Whistler. These etchings, destined for a New York art gallery, were still in the ship's cargo hold when the tragedy struck. Some of these etchings have been retrieved in a damaged condition, but many are still missing. Among the few art pieces recovered is a small bronze statue named Lucky, found among a passenger's personal effects. This statue, depicting a cherubic figure, serves as a poignant reminder of the aspirations and dreams of those who lost their lives in the disaster. Number 1. The Marconi Room's Desperate Messages The Titanic's Marconi Room, the hub of wireless communication, played a crucial role in the ship's tragic narrative. The distress signals sent from this room during the ship's last moments offer a stark glimpse into the fear, desperation, and courage that marked the final hours of the ill-fated vessel as it sank into the icy North Atlantic. The Marconi Room, fitted with the most advanced wireless technology of the era, was manned by two young telegraphists, Jack Phillips and Harold Bride. Their duties included transmitting and receiving messages from other vessels and land stations, providing updates on the ship's journey, ice warnings, and personal messages for the passengers. However, their roles took a dramatic turn on the night of April 14, 1912, as they became the sinking ship's only communication link with the outside world. As the Titanic started to sink, Phillips and Bride were given the responsibility of sending out distress signals to alert nearby ships of their dire situation and request immediate help. Their Morse code messages included standard distress signals like CQD, all stations distress, and the then-new SOS, Save Our Souls, signal. 
The transcripts of these messages provide a chilling account of the disaster, as the telegraphists tried to call for help while the ship was sinking rapidly. The messages show a growing sense of urgency, with phrases like we are sinking fast and women and children in boats cannot last much longer. The frantic nature of these messages offers a haunting glimpse into the terror and desperation felt by the crew in their final moments. One of the most moving messages sent from the Marconi room is the final transmission at 2.17 a.m., just before the Titanic sank. This message, a simple CQ, all stations, followed by a series of random letters, is thought to be Philip's attempt to keep communication open as the Marconi room's power supply started to fail. The stark finality of this message underscores the human tragedy of that night. The artifacts found from the Marconi room, including parts of the wireless equipment, headphones, and telegraph keys, offer a physical link to the desperate messages sent during the ship's final hours. These poignant artifacts, along with the chilling message transcripts, stand as a powerful testament to the bravery and sacrifice of the telegraph operators who stayed at their posts until the very end. The story of the Titanic is one that has always moved and fascinated people. The fact that so many people lost their lives in such a tragic way is something that will never be forgotten. The discovery and recovery of the ship's artifacts have given us a glimpse into the lives of the people aboard the Titanic and have allowed us to remember them in a unique way.